James Schramko here chatting to Gert from seoleverage.com and today I've got an SEO question which is how do we improve the click-through rates from our site when the, it's presented in the Google results? How do we get more people to click through to the site? It'd be really interesting to talk about what it is that's actually controlling that because I know mm -hmm. we put a bit of effort into that particular part of our website with my own team. I think if you're not already doing this, then this is going to be a really valuable tip. Absolutely. So click through rate, basically, we have to differentiate. There is an, a number of impressions and a number of clicks on your search results. So the impressions meaning your search result is being shown on the page the user is on. And then if they really click, this produces the click through rate. The search result is usually made up essentially by a meta title and the meta description. So the blue one or black one, depending on the version you're Google is currently testing is the title and then you have the description below. These things really uh, are decisive when it comes to the user deciding which uh, result to click on. The user has a certain search intent, a certain problem they need to solve and this is why they execute the search. So it's be, this is the first touch point where you need to convince your user that you have the answer, right? That's not necessarily mean that you should give the answer right there or many companies trying to sell the product directly within the search result. Just going too far, the, the user is not uh, there yet. It's the, the task of the search result to sell the click. It's the task of the website to probably sell the lead and then the task of your follow-up system to really make the sale. Uh, in terms of meta title and meta descriptions, there are a few tricks you can use. For example, if you put the year in there, it very often yields higher click-through rates. We always want to find the most current information, the latest updates on what we are searching for. So if it's 2020, if you put in a 2020 and very often brackets around it work very well, this might already give you a boost in rankings. Just to give you an example, we're just working on a website where we have seen that a certain tutorial they have on their site is getting a 0.3% click-through rate. Just imagine if we could easily probably double this it's going to double the visits to this particular URL. Do this at scale, do this 400, top 100 ranking search results, and you really are going to see the difference. Or if you are not sure about this thing, do it for half of your URLs that are ranking among the first two or three pages. Wait a month or two, and then check again your click-through rate. You can check this in the Google Search Console, which is a free tool Google offers for webmasters. And there you have all the information. You get your current rates, click-through rates. You even get an evolution over time. So after you have been doing this optimization, uh, check it again a few weeks later and see if anything has changed. Most probably it will. Wow. So it's like a simple technique you can use to double your traffic without changing Absolutely. anything else. That's amazing. Absolutely. Thank you, Gert. That's a very helpful tip. And uh, oh, oh. you can be found at seoleverage.com. We'll be sharing more of these tips wherever you saw this video, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.